Hi friends. So today I was just uh, going for a walk, and I just thought to share some of the some of my thoughts, like why we use Fibonacci. People sometime ask, we are using Fibonacci. Why are you using Fibonacci? And they most of the time having no idea why we are using Fibonacci because management is asked us. My product owner asked me to use Fibonacci. We use that yes, we do the agile estimation, and during the agile estimation, we are using the Fibonacci series. But why we are using the Fibonacci? The big, biggest question is still open, and people sometimes don't know. And this is the most important interview question that I'm just going to talk about today. So when I when I take the interview as an interviewer, then most of the time I ask the candidates who are maybe as a scrum master, as a product owner, you are using Fibonacci, but what is the reason? What make you? Choose the Fibonacci series, but they have no clue. I will tell you the reason. It's not very tough to understand. When we know that Fibonacci series is, is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, and more, more of that as well. But why we use Fibonacci? So there was a person known as Weber. So he gave the Weber law, and the law was very easy. Suppose you have you have two hands. Suppose in one hand, you have one kg of weight. In other hand, you have one kg of weight. You can identify both hands are equal. Now just think in one hand, you have one kg. In second hand, you have two kg. You can again identify which one is heavier, which one is lighter. Yes. Now we will increase the weight. In one hand, you have four kg. You have in other hand, you have five kg. Is it easy to identify? A bit. Yes. With some effort, you can identify which has which hand is lighter, which hand is heavier. Now we will again increase more. In one hand, you have 10 kg, and in one hand, you have 11 kg. Oh, it's tough to identify. Oh, I don't know how to identify, how, how to distinguish the weight between one hand and the other hand. Because you, you cannot identify easily which hand is lighter and which, which hand is heavier. Now move further. In one hand, you have 20 kg, one hand, 21 kg. Oh my God. I, I cannot, at least I can identify which one is, which one is heavier, which one is lighter. Here has come the Fibonacci series. If you will choose a Fibonacci series for any kind of estimation, especially relative estimation, then each and every number is, the starting number is 100% higher than the previous number. And as soon as you will move forward, each and every number difference from the previous number is somewhere 60%. Zero, one. Just 100%, 1, 2, 100%, 2, 2, 3, 50%, 3, 2, 5, somewhere more than 60%, 5, 2, 8, more than 60%, 8, 2, 13, somewhere again more than 60%. So here the say is that when you are using the Fibonacci series, it is easily to identify the difference between one number and the other number. Means if you have, if in one hand you will carry 1 kg or 2 kg, you can easily identify. In one hand, you will carry 3 kg or 5 kg, you can easily identify. In one hand, you will carry 5 kg and 8 kg, you will easily identify. So here the say is, by using the Fibonacci series, if you are doing the relative estimation, it is very easy to identify which one is lighter, which one is heavier. And here's the answer. I help you with the interview question. Most of the time it is being asked that, yes, why we use the Fibonacci? If you like my video, like it, share it, and just spread the word. Thank you.